hello everyone welcome to this video so there is this AI tool which you can use to turn your designs into an actual front-end code like react angular view HTML CSS and and others you can use this tool to turn a design either figma adobe xd sketch design into an actual front end code without having to write a single line of uh, code this tool is called locofy and i thought it is quite cool so i should share with you guys i've not gone much deeper into it but a few features i saw is even enough to share with you guys so let me let me show you So here when you go to locofy.ai the first thing you're going to you're going to do is to log in or sign up then when you create an account you can now link your account to uh, for example a figma plugin all right so as you can see here i have logged in this is this is my account and when you check here i have about five projects i tried and when you come to figma as i have here and you go to the plugins section so for example you can click here go to plugins and find more plugins if you don't have it i have installed it so as you can see here recently locofy the free beta version so it is currently in beta version at the moment but um it is still quite cool i mean what it can do so you can search for it if you don't have it and then when you search for it it is going to ask you to link your figma plugin to your account it's going to automatically detect your account if you've logged in from the browser and then it's going to sync your account with the figma plugin once you do that you now have the locofy plugin in figma you can turn your design for example like this design here into an actual code so this is a this is a design from Figma community as you can see there are other pages here but I've hit, I've just said in them just want to use only the login page yeah so let's try and use this UI here uh, it's a simple login account to like test the features of uh, local file first of all you can maybe right click and then uh, go to plugins and then you open the locofy plugin once you open the locofy plugin once you have linked your account it is going to open this locofy plugin here to create a new project so here i'm going to call it um login test and this is where you uh, you choose your framework the framework you want to turn the design into so i am going to choose react to start with so if I choose React, I have the options to also choose the code settings, the CSS style, um, and also the units I want to be using for my components or for my yeah for my component, and also the file naming. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at TypeScript, leave it at CSS variable. I'll choose regular CSS for this one, and I'll leave this one as it is. And then when I cl click create, it is going to create a new project for me. So as you can see here, login test. So this is the login component we want to turn into like a code. So when I click on it and I try to click uh, preview here, this is actually going to generate a preview of my component. And as you can see here, this is actually working. This is a preview of it in Locofy. These are supposed to be these are supposed to be buttons. These are supposed to be input and stuff like that. But as I am clicking on it, you can't actually see from uh, from here that these are input in figma this is going to be something like a, um, like a rectangle with some icons here so how does locofy actually able to detect that these are supposed to be buttons so i'm going to close the preview and i'll bring this one to the side here so here there is there are some options here you can actually uh, make use of to make your design look like an actual component when you when you turn it into code so for example this one I want this to be a button uh, so what I'm going to do is I will actually locate that and yeah this is the button and when I check the group looks like um, it's it's a rectangle and um, 
there is a rectangle there is a frame and stuff like that all right so for local file to work well you want to avoid using rectangles right so in figma one thing you have to do to avoid this rectangle is you can actually select the group and then you choose the auto layout option and here you would see that the rectangle is actually gone and yeah there is no rectangle here Alright, so once you do that you can now select the component and then here you can click on this tag option here right, so this step 2 is saying you can tag interactive elements so in Lucify there is an option called tagging where you can actually tag elements in your design to be real elements when you turn it into code right, so for example these are supposed to be buttons so I can go to tag here and then I am going to choose a button and this is supposed to be a regular button but they also have options of libraries they support so if your button is supposed to be like a material UI button and design bootstrap or chakra uh, you can choose these libraries but I'm going to choose none for now and I'm going to click done so right now I have tagged this component as a button now and some of the options so other options you can choose so for example I want to add a hover effect to this particular button so I'll go back home and then I'll go to the edit layout styling and then and then when I come here there is a fill basically by default I want it to be white and then when I go to the hover tab here as you can see I want to change the fill so maybe I will deepen it a little bit and then I am going to click done so when I click on preview now and I check the button as you can see when I hover over it it now shows as a button unlike this one which looks like a static element um, so this now looks like this now looks like a button right. so you can actually customize this button to look exactly the way you want so that when you generate the code it is going to be an actual button so you can tag all these elements to be the appropriate element and then um, you can you can actually generate the correct source code for it so let's try let's try a few of these so the next element I'm going to tag is the input element here so I'm going to tag this first one this is supposed to be an email input so I'll go here and then I'll click tag and this is going to be an input and I can choose I can choose um, none or I can choose like a material design so let me try material design and I want to choose this one so here you can choose the type if it is email I want to choose an email you can enter a name here you can also enter a label here uh, placeholder I can say email and then here you have the option to like set the required disable full width and other other things like that all right so this is how this is basically how it's going to look like we don't we are going to lose the icon and I mean that's fine because I just want to show you like the tagging the tagging option but you can go ahead and uh, look at how to maybe add the icons and and stuff like that um, but yeah this is basically fine for what I want to show you um, so when I click done and I click preview again let's see how the input is going to look like at the moment so as you can see here this now looks like uh, an input right? A real input unlike this one which is which is a static element here so let's also target this one and then maybe a button so let's do let's do a few tagings here and then I'll show you the next thing all right and this is a password I want to enable the eye icon here you saw we have that option down here to so show the eye icon and I will enter the placeholder as password Miss the A I'm going to do the last one for this button as well and I am going to click tag button I'm going to say none 
and then I am going to click done and here I am going to add a hover effect as well so if I go to the edit styling and yeah so the fill color is by default this when I hover I want to deepen it a little bit so I bring it down click OK and then let's do a preview again and now this looks like a button these are inputs this is also a button as you can see here so yeah you can go ahead and customize all the components you have in your design to make it look like an actual element so that um when you generate the code it's going it's not going to generate like unnecessary like elements in your code it's going to generate like actual input and stuff like that yeah there, there are a lot there are a lot of options in local file like the actions so for example this button if i want it to like switch to a different page for example i can choose the change page if i have like other pages uh, i can choose like change page and then i can actually choose the page from here i have some other pages i have hidden at the moment and those are the ones showing here so i can choose any of these pages and uh, when i click on the button it is actually going to take me to that page let's actually try and use test this and see how it works so i'm going to say i'm going to choose the new password for example and i'm going to click done and uh, i will click preview and when i click on this button it's going to show the new password but because it is hidden it's not going to show so let me make it let me unhide it and then let me do a uh, preview again and then click on this and yeah it shows it shows the new password page All right so you can have you can have navigations as well on your pages and uh, and yeah other other cool features as well so I mean you can you can try and check it out like go through the options and uh, yeah try to customize it to like see how it's it really works now the next cool feature I want to show you with local file is uh, syncing to the builder right. so you after after you customize your design you can actually sync your design to the builder so this is actually going to open in the browser so let me bring this one here let me cancel it for now and let me choose the login page and I want to sync it to the builder so I click on it and I choose the one frame selected which is the login page which is the login page and I go to view code in builder local file has a builder which is more like uh, like an editor where you can edit and further customize your your code which is going to be generated right, so this is synced to builder when I go to view code because I have logged in already it is going to open for my account so you actually have the builder here and notice that yeah this is where we have the login.tsx component you have your CSS there is a global CSS file as well and this is a preview of your of your site so from here you can actually export your design or you can deploy it to any of these platforms very easily or you can download the zip file and run in VS Code to actually see how it works we're going to do this very shortly but here you can also make components right? so for example I didn't change this button I want to I want to make this a component so here I'll, I'll select that and then I'll say create component and from here I'm going to say make component and this one I'm going to call it um, click here and I'm going to call it um, alt button create and as you can see here it has extracted this button into its separate component as you can see here so there is this alt button and here you can add props to your component right. 
so for example there is the logo and then there is this google uh, text so i can click on it and say the prop name is called um icon and this is the this is the value save it and yeah i can i can add it to google and say label for example label and save this all right so as you can see as you can see from here if i show you if i show you the code as you can see from here this is using this is using the alt button here all right all right so the whole idea is so for example if i changed this one to a button as well and i want to reuse this same component for it i can just um i can just use the component i have generated here as well all right so um yeah that is that is um that is that is very cool so from here you can you can view your code and then you can actually try and uh test your code to see how it actually works all right so let's try and export our component to see how it looks like so we will export the zip file and then we will open it in vs code and then try and then run it there to see how it looks like all right, so i'll go to export and i'm going to do export project like this and yeah the name of the project is login so i'm going to confirm export it is going to export the zip file so it is done exporting downloaded here so i am going to try and then extract this as you can see from here there's src there is package.json there's readme ts config because i'm using typescript i'm going to open this in vs code this is opened in vs code now as you can as you can see from here these are the asset files it's exported alongside it and when i open src when i open src go to pages and i go to this is the css file and this is the component the login component and also here there is the component which is a component i created the tsx file and then the css file as well so this is this is very cool this is really cool so inside package.json when we check the script we can do npm run start to start it um, so let's actually try and start and see if we see the same thing so I'm first of all going to do npm install just to install the dependencies and once this is done installing i am going to do npm run start to start it so i'll do npm run start to start the dev server <coughs> and yeah as you can see here we actually have the component running we actually have the component working when we run it in vs code as well it's looking okay and so yeah you can turn you can turn a complete website design into an actual front-end code right and it's it's very very cool this is supposed to be like a quick look at uh, locofy a quick look at how you can use locofy to turn designs into like an actual front-end code yeah so i mean if if you find it interesting you can actually check it out explore like all the options in helping turn your component into a real world website yeah so basically that's it for today's video thank you for watching and uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel i am going to see you in the next video